I kind of, I went through YouTube and I don't usually do this before filming a review. Once I used the product, I went through YouTube to see if anybody else had had the same experience that I had. And I didn't see that anywhere. So hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ken, this is Ken's Constant Beards and Fitness. And if this is your first time here, welcome. On this channel, we talk about beards. I am a beard industry consultant. I work with several companies to help make the beard industry better in the ways that I can help. And I review products and that's what we're gonna do in this video. In this video, we are gonna talk about a new company, Cervantes Beard Company, LLC out of California. Owner, very nice guy, he reached out a couple of weeks ago wanted to send me some products for review. So we got all the details worked out and this is my review here today. So what I do have to talk about in this video is the new spring line because this is the first time reviewing this company. We're going to talk about the carrier blend, the website, the whole nine. I want to let you know my experience with Cervantes, show you the website, show you kind of how to navigate and give any, any pointers that I have to the company, any feedback that I have. So let's jump right in there. The first thing that I wanna do is take a look at the website. So we'll jump right over and do that. And here we'll talk about pricing and everything also. So Cervantes Beard Care Company, this is their website. Now I do have a little bit of feedback on the website, but let's kind of scroll through here. As you scroll, there's no menu here. There is a couple of links here. You have the homepage, which will bring you right back here. And then you have all products available, which will take you to one page with every product he has available pricing, all that stuff. There's about three pages here. And then scrolling down, there is their terms of service. You know, you can search refund policy, things like that. You can join their newsletter by putting your email address in here. And that's about it. We go back to the homepage real quick. And as we scroll down, you can see again, links to more products. Uh, we do have featured collection oils here and those links. We do talk about the ingredients on the page, which we'll come back and talk about these ingredients here in just a second. We got a combo down here and we get to the bottom and that's that's pretty much it. Now I do have some feedback about the website because the website is a Shopify site. I don't know what theme is being used or anything like that, uh, but there's a lot of stuff that I would love to see on this website. So we'll scroll back up and I mentioned earlier, I don't really see a menu. I do see a couple of links here. Now, first and foremost, and if you watch any of my videos, you know that the first thing that I'm gonna say is, we need a page here to list out all the scents. He actually has a lot of scents. I've got a sample kit with several scents. I got the spring scents. Um, there's a lot of scents here to talk about. So I would love to see a page up top um, with the scents and then have a scent list all on one page. Basically right now, what you would have to do to know anything about the scents on the page, you would have to scroll down. We can go to Beard Oil, for example and then you would have to actually click into each link. Kind of like short form social media, you have very little time to capture somebody's attention or they're gonna click onto the next website. So if you have all the scents listed because scents are something that we love as, as beardsmen, as people that use beard products, we love to know what the scents are gonna be. And so it just makes it easier for somebody to find the scents before they click away. Next thing that I would like to see is more up at the top. So I don't see any way to contact the company here. I don't see anything that tells me about the company. I don't see really anything that will give me any information about this company, their products, you know, outside of what I do see, ingredients are listed, things like that. If I go to Beard Oil, all right, I'm gonna scroll down. Beard oils for a one ounce oil, $15. Well below the national average for what a bottle of beard oil costs at this point. Typically, you can expect anywhere from $18 to $20 is kind of that average range. Some are higher, some are lower. This is right uh, just at the bottom end of that average price. I mean, this is a low price for a beard oil. So I do want to point that out, $15 for beard oil. So let's go back real quick. I want to take a look at the butters. He does have beard butters also. Beard butters. You're gonna find $20 for a two ounce butter. Um, that is more around the average price for a beard butter, so good price there. And if we go back again, we'll go look at the bombs. And he does have beard bombs, which I don't have to review, I don't have any. Actually, the website shows they're all sold out. Um, so I don't know what the deal is with the bombs, but those are $15. Now, if I go back, seeing that the bomb is sold out, the next thing that I was gonna talk about was the combos. So right down here, we see combo. We have an OG combo, for example. Uh, Valley Mango, I'll click on the Valley Mango combo. The Valley Mango combo is a three piece set, beard butter, beard balm, beard oil for $45. Now that pricing, you're, you're literally paying $20 for the butter, you're paying $15 for the oil, so that's 35. You're basically getting the balm now for 10 bucks instead of 15 if I remember the pricing right. But the problem that I see is all of the bombs are sold out, but this is still available. So I don't know if he does not sell bombs individually, 
it's not really clear from looking at the website. Um, if you were just wanting to buy a bomb and an oil, for example, and you go to the beard bombs, they're all going to show sold out here. So that could be just a temporary inventory thing. I'm not really sure, um, but the combo still shows available. So that may be something that needs to be worked out. Overall, the website is, um, you know, I, I do think the website could use a lot of things added to it just to help the user experience a little bit better with navigating through the site. But that's the site. That's the pricing. Let's go ahead and talk about the products that I have to talk about. So in this video, I do have oils. I've got a sample kit and I've got butter, right? We're going to start by talking about the oil. I'm going to go ahead and start with my favorite scent out of what uh, was sent to me. So Lumberjack. Now this does have leather in it. You guys know I love leather. So this scent wise for everything Cervantes sent out, this was my absolute favorite that I wore scent wise all week long. I'll come back and talk about scent profiles shortly. Let's talk about ingredients and fill and beard first. So the ingredients you're going to find, you're going to find almond oil, coconut oil, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, apricot oil, castor oil, vegetable glycerin, vitamin E with keratin, and then argan oil. Now, those ingredients, most of those ingredients are perfectly fine for a beard oil. They are good ingredients. There is one that I question and we're going to talk about a little bit. I want to give you guys a little bit of knowledge on the vegetable glycerin and how that reacted with my beard. One question that I have right off the bat is that the ingredients listed on the bottle and the ingredients listed on the site, if I remember properly, they were in a different order. I just want to verify that. Yeah, they are listed in a different order on the website. I'm not sure which order these ingredients actually go in. The bottles listed differently now with US labeling laws. I'm inclined to believe that the label is probably accurate because you are required to label products carrier oil wise and those ingredients in order of precedence. So what that would mean is that there's more coconut oil than there is hemp seed oil. There's more hemp seed than jojoba and on down the label. That's how that would work. So looking at these, we have vegetable glycerin on the label is the third from the bottom as far as precedence. You have argan oil at the end, and then you have vitamin E with keratin. Now, vitamin E itself is a fine ingredient. Vitamin E being listed before argan, and I'm not sure what the blend, what the ratios are, but vitamin E, you want you want to have a lower percentage than like 0.05%. You don't want much vitamin E. Now, above that, you have the vegetable glycerin, right? Now, I did some research on vegetable glycerin. This is the first product that I've ever had with vegetable glycerin. My experience with this, and I want to put this out there, this is my personal experience. This is what my beard felt like. I kind of, I went through YouTube and I don't usually do this before filming a review. Once I used the product, I went through YouTube to see if anybody else had had the same experience that I had. And I didn't see that anywhere. I say that to say that I'm not the only person reviewing Cervantes Beard Care. Take a look at other reviews and just kind of pick out what you believe before you try this out. But here's my take on vegetable glycerin, right? So first of all, what is vegetable glycerin? Vegetable glycerin is a natural ingredient, vegetable glycerin. There is glycerin that comes from petroleum products, but according to the bottle, according to the maker, this is vegetable glycerin, so that would be natural. Vegetable glycerin is not a new product to hair care or skin care, and it's used in many different products. Now, vegetable glycerin is a humectant, and what that means is vegetable glycerin is going to work to pull the moisture out of the air, out of your skin, out of your hair, anywhere that it can get moisture, it's gonna pull that moisture until enough water molecules have attached to that vegetable glycerin. The benefits of that is that it can help with, with drier skin. I've seen use cases where vegetable glycerin has been good for clearing things like psoriasis or eczema, things like that, just some journals and things that I've read over the last couple of days. Here's the problem that I had with it, and here's the problem with vegetable glycerin as a whole, as an ingredient, especially in a beard oil. So vegetable glycerin is going to attach water molecules to it that it finds around it, right? So you'll find vegetable glycerin in a lot of things like washes, conditioners, maybe some leave-in conditioners, water-based products. The thing that makes it okay in that case is that the vegetable glycerin is gonna pull the moisture out of that product if you have a water-based product. And vegetable glycerin can only take on so much water. So once it is quote unquote saturated, saturated, sorry, once it's saturated, that it's not going to pull more moisture. If it's not in a water-based product, if it's not in something that has water already around it, it is going to pull water wherever it can pull from. It's gonna pull water from your hair. It's gonna pull water from the lower inside levels of your skin, which can lead to skin dryness. Now, the issue that I had with this specific product is that at first it felt great in my beard. Other than the vegetable glycerin, I think the rest of this carrier blend is solid, but the vegetable glycerin really dried my beard out after a couple of hours. And there's a big reason for that. Where I live in Wisconsin, especially right now this time of year, it's more of a dry environment. If you are in a dry environment, if you are in an environment that is not normally humid, if you're in a cold environment where the air is drier and vegetable glycerin does not have 
that environment, that humidity to pull moisture from, it's going to pull it from somewhere. In our case, it's gonna pull it from your beard, it's gonna pull it from your skin, and that's exactly what I noticed in my experience with this beard oil. My beard dried out after a couple of hours, had to reapply it a few times. After that, the thing with vegetable glycerin is that it doesn't necessarily absorb or go away, so it just kind of stacks. I only wore this oil for a couple of days. I wanted to make sure that I was not just having a bad first day or a bad second day. I wanted to make sure that I was giving it a fair shot, but I had the same experience every time that I used it. It just dried my beard out. Now, I did say that vegetable glycerin is found in a lot of hair care products. And again, you're talking things that are water-based. In a water-based product, this is just fine. But in a beard oil, I don't think that it's a good ingredient for a beard oil. And I'm, I'm not sure, uh, Jesse, the owner, when he decided to use this, I'm not sure why. You do see vegetable glycerin and some other big brands out there. It is a fairly inexpensive ingredient. And so I'm not sure what made him choose that, but that was my experience with it. This is a product that I will not use again in its current form. I do think that he could take this and make some tweaks and have a very, very good beard oil. Um, but I'll leave it at that. These reviews are tough to do. The fill and beard was about my only negative experience that I had with this. So let's move on to the butter. Now the butter, the ingredients in the butter are fairly the same. We have mango butter, we have shea butter, organic coconut oil, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, apricot oil, castor oil, argan oil, vegetable glycerin, vitamin E, and then almond oil at the end. So a little bit of a different uh, order of ingredients, couple of different things. Now, one thing that I will mention, the butters in this are unrefined, which is fantastic. I love unrefined butters. You've heard me talk about before that with unrefined butters, that you do have more of that natural butter scent. So let me show you this butter real quick. Um, so this is butter. I will say this is a very hard butter. This is a butter that uh, if you want to wear a butter that gives you styling, you're gonna get it from this butter. This is probably one of the thicker butters that I've ever used. This is not something where you're gonna be able to just stick your finger in. I'm gonna show you, I'm, I'm pressing on this. It is very, very thick. Um, you literally have to take your thumbnail and kind of dig into that. So it's a thick butter, you'll get some styling out of it. The butter itself is not bad. I, I did feel a lot of the same when I woke up in the morning after using this, I, that vegetable glycerin, I think, again, in my environment is just not working well on my beard. So that's that, but it is a, it's a decent butter. Okay, let's move on and talk about the scents that I have. So I do have the spring scents we're gonna talk about. Those actually released today. Uh, the first thing that I'll show you though is the sample kit. So he did send a sample kit also, which has 12 scents in it. Uh, there it is right there. Let me see if I can open this up and show it to you. These are five milliliter bottles. So for most of us, that's gonna be good enough for a couple of uses. Kind of show that, I don't want those to fall out. Uh, but there's the sample kit. I'll say these scents, there's not a single scent in this box that I don't like. One thing that I like about Cervantes is that his scents are unique. They are fantastic. I really, really, really like his scents. And Mel does too. Mel's not in this video because she's still not feeling well, but she liked the scents also. And then in the sample kit, he also has this card that he puts in there um, that talks about all the scents. So I'm going to throw that there for a second. You can kind of screenshot that uh, so you can see all the scents. But these are really, really good scents. Now, in the video, I want to talk about the spring scents, which I have here. So let's go through these real quick. First of all, we'll talk about Lumberjack. Now, Lumberjack is one of the spring scents. This is Fresh Night Air, Forest Pine, Leather Oud, Orange Citrus. This was my favorite of the three spring scents. This scent is fantastic. Really, really good. The leather in this one is not a a super hard leather. This is more of a softer leather. For this one, think about um, like a leather chair, right? The soft leather of that material. Very, very nice light leather scent. This is not something that is leather forward necessarily. You definitely pick up the leather, but it's blended so well that you don't necessarily get just leather all day. I know there's a lot of you that don't like leather as much as I do. And so so that's, uh, that's what I would say on that one. Um, but everything else shines through here, the citrus, the oud, the pine, and the pine itself is not super forward either. So no worries there. I love pine. All right, next up, we'll talk about California summer. Now, California summer is a apple, orange breeze, sea salt, night air, lemon, and peach. Another very well blended scent. Another really, really good scent. I enjoyed this one also. And this is one where it's so well blended, like you don't pick out one individual scent. So it's not lemon heavy, it's not peach heavy. The night air really makes it unique. I'm glad that I was able to smell night air in all three of these because I wasn't sure what night air smelled like, but you do pick that up. It's just a nice crisp scent. I don't know how to describe it, but it really brings these together very nicely. Again, just a really good scent. So that's California summer. 
there's the label on that one more time. Super cool artwork. And the last one is Drunk Rabbit. Now this artwork's pretty cool. You can see that one right there. We got a, dr a rabbit drinking whiskey. The scent profile on this one, whiskey teak wood, sea salt, night air, sweet tobacco, huckleberry, and cranberry. Now this is one that when I pulled this out, when I saw what it was, I didn't think I was gonna like it. Whiskey is listed as the first scent in that, and I'm not a fan of alcohol ingredients, but I gotta say this scent is pretty doggone good. It is, it is crisp. You get the whiskey barely. Again, everything is blended so well that not one scent dominates the other, but you get the whiskey. What I get most out of this is the sweetness of the huckleberry and the cranberry. You get the darkness also with the tobacco. It's just very well done. All of these scents, and again, every even the scents in the sample kit, I enjoyed all of these scents from Cervantes. So those are the three from the spring collection. I will put those in the description so you can go check those out. They're not on the website yet, so I can't show them to you. They will be available. As of the time you see this, I'm filming this on a different day, but when this video is out to you, you will be able to see that on Monday, April 1st. So those are the spring scents. Those are all of the scents that I have to talk about. Okay, so to close this video out, this is the part where I talk about my recommendation. And again, my recommendation is gonna be based solely on the feel and beard. The scents are fantastic. I have zero complaints about the scents. The feel and beard for me just wasn't there though because of, I'm fairly certain the vegetable glycerin and that feel and beard was consistent all the days that I wore it. So um, I would love to see some possible changes to the carrier blend. I'm not sure how open the owner is to that. I would love to work with him to, to help with that. But the, the feel and beard was just not there for me. So do I recommend it? I'm gonna put it like this, right? If you live in an environment like me, if you live in a dry climate, it's not something that I can really recommend because I feel like you're gonna have the same experience that I did because again, that vegetable glycerin is going to pull moisture from somewhere. If you live in a dry environment, it's gonna pull it from your skin, from your hair, and you're gonna get that same drying experience, right? If you live in a more humid climate, if you live down south or somewhere where it's very humid, then you may not have the same issue that I had. And again, there are several reviews already on YouTube for Cervantes Beard Company. So go check out other people's experiences. I can only speak for mine. I can only tell you the experience that I had in my beard. But that was my experience. And that is my review for Cervantes. So hey, if you like this type of content, if you have a beard, if you're into beards, if you love somebody with a beard, then do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, because that is what we do on this channel. We talk about beard products. If this video has brought you any value, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you so much for that. That helps the channel more than you know. And at this point, YouTube is gonna show a couple of videos on screen they think you wanna see. So go check those out next. If I can do anything for you, you can find all my contact information on my website, consconson.com. That'll be in the description of this video. Until the next video, thank you again so much for being here for this one. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Stay bearded and be blessed. And we'll see you next time.